Kenner, Louisiana, folks. And there's a humongous swarm in the garbage can. It's about 9 o'clock at night. Check this out. That's a lot of bees, folks. <laughs> hey, I'm glad there's not a lot of trash in here, you know? <laughs> Just a couple things there. How you doing tonight? Oh, my God. Check them out. Isn't that something, man? Jeez. <laughs> this nice lady called me. She said, I got bees on my kangaroo. You see, they were <laughs> accessing the thing through the pouch. But the thing's hollow, so... I pulled out some combs that probably went all the way up to, to here. They may even go up, you know, near the head. I don't I don't know, but we can't break this thing open, anything like that. So I pulled the combs out. I used a little smoke. I even put a little bit of honeybee going down the bottom. They were content to run up, but for whatever reason, they did not want to come out of this thing. Why they want to stay in Wally, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to give them a little bump. I'm just going to pick the whole thing up and just kind of bump it to see if uh, the queen will drop down the bottom and maybe I could cage her. That's where we are at this point. Wish me luck. <laughs> Just bumped Wally and turned it upside down and shook him a little bit, but there, there's gotta be some crevices in there and some narrow crevices. Just can't get them out, but uh, they're airborne right now. Who knows, maybe the queen will land somewhere and I could catch her. But uh, anyway, giving me a little bit of a challenge here. I just, you know, I, I can't open this thing up. And normally you see in my videos, uh, you know, we're able to access <laughs> most of the void spaces that we uh, get bees out of, but uh, can't do it. And then, like I said, there must be some narrow crevices up in this thing. Maybe she ran up in there. I don't know, but uh, they more stubborn. So, we're gonna look at this a little bit more, see if we can't get her. <laughs> Try my best here. Wouldn't it be nice to just to spot the queen and then pretty much be done with this after that? Just mm -hmm. put her in the box and you know they're gonna go in there. So. Yesterday evening, I uh, I came on out to this this house and um, start pulling combs out of this kangaroo and uh, I think. I must have accidentally squished the, squished the queen something, but something happened to her. Anyway, and I was back at it. I left the, the kangaroo here last night, and um, <laughs> I'm gonna show you why I'm laughing in a minute. First of all, I got beads that were going up underneath my shirt. But let me let me make let me condense this real quick. Long story short, played with him some more, and I happened to have a queen that was banked, and uh, I decided to go get her because I really was thinking, man, these bees, the way they act in it, I think something happened to the queen. So I pulled up and the bees, now my truck's parked, you could see it right behind me. So I pulled up and the bees literally were flying to the queen I have caged in my hand. So let me show you what that looks like. <laughs> I mean, I literally just walked up and look, you think the hive's queenless? <laughs> I think they are. I'm going to give them this queen. All right making these bees happy folks you think I think so I think we making these girls happy they got a queen now like I said I don't know what happened to the, to the queen but uh, you know it's a pain when you can't access the void space where the bees are so couldn't open up the kangaroo lady wants to keep the kangaroo so I was pulling combs out and I guess I squinched or something I don't know but anyway we got them a queen now and they're nice and happy so Hello. Oh, Hello. Oh, my God. <gasps> what you think of that, Cam? Oh, my God. That's that bullshit. Bees in the couch, baby. <laughs> Remember Candyman had a... Watch, oh, my Watch God. out now. Oh. You're going to me playing some sci-fi music now. Watch out. Oh, my... Oh, my God. Check it out. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. <laughs> Think of that, Cam. Oh my god. Mm hmm. All right. <laughs> Check this out, folks. Uh, <laughs> I've excavated this play in the box and uh, you can see how this thing was built. Really piss poor design. And uh, filled up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight contracted bags of uh, soil and gravel, a little bit of gravel, mostly soil. Cut this section out and I got these little thin 
pieces of wood and uh, I can't imagine these being treated, but you can see they're thin and they're accumulating moisture. And some people from California actually came down and, and designed all this. It was on a TV show. And, uh, but just really a terrible design for Southeast Louisiana. In my opinion with the termites we have down here and uh in high humidity so I try to run them this way uh yeah well some of them are coming this way i think i'm going to cut another piece of this uh plywood out actually i think i'm going to smoke them a little more see if we can catch the queen and if i could catch her put her in the box then we could be real aggressive and just you know let them run in uh i think the bees have been here two three months tops Going to the homeowner. I'm looking at the queen right now. Look at this. Amazing. Hold on, folks. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's catch it. Where are you? Just saw a Italian looking thing. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there she is. Right here. Look at this, folks. Look at that. Let's see if we can get her. All right. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> that happened pretty quickly, folks. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Well, when you run that many bees out, I guess she's bound to follow at some point. These bees were friggin' pissy as all hell a while ago. It's amazing what happens when you divide and conquer. Just uh, accessing where they are and giving them a good bit of smoke. I guess we've calmed them down some. I mean, it looked like they were about to boil out on me. So, and I even got the jack and bale on. I took two to the face earlier. I could see them starting to creep that way. Maybe they're going over towards you. Let me go and uh, show the homeowner what's going on. And oh, happy day. <laughs> All right. Wrapping it up, folks. Queen's in the box. This was a mess. A lot of the combs fell on the ground. They had a lot of honey, fresh honey. They were wobbly, kind of fell apart in my hands. So I didn't use any of it, but uh, look at the amount of bees. Alrighty, and they really weren't that nice, <laughs> but that's okay. All right. I'm trying to get to break the concrete guys to get to them. And see, I got stung twice with them stones going hit me in the head. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's why I see my cutting out, yeah. Perfect. We good. We good. See why I cut that other two foot out back there? I did, man. There they are, folks. Hey, folks. It's uh, Monday, June 8th. I'm in the French Quarter right now with Shawi. We're going to walk across the street right here and show you what they got over here. Hold on. Wait for the traffic. Wait for the traffic. All right. All right, folks. Check this out. <laughs> See the green light up here, the traffic light? <laughs> oh, is that a honeybee nest? It sure is. Wow. That's crazy. Yep. Where you at? French quarter bees. French quarter. Get them, man. Get them. <laughs> 